Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video on Conga CPQ, we have seen how one-time and recurring pricing can be set up using Conga CPQ. Today we are going to explore another option which is called related pricing, uh, how it can be set up using Conga CPQ. So let's dive in to learn related pricing in Conga CPQ. So here is the agenda. Uh, we're going to see today is what is related pricing first of all, then how to set that up then there's a use case as we cover each and every time and then we'll review the configuration so what is related pricing so related pricing is nothing but dependent price uh, in case if your product's price is depend on the price of other products you can use related pricing to derive the price of your product so there are two ways you can define the related pricing first using price method as percent on price list item the second is using price method as related price and then we'll have to create uh, multiple related price list items how to set up okay so using price method as percent so very first method where we are using this method we will set up one to one mapping of price list item that means a product's price is dependent on one product only Using this way, we can derive a price of product based on a single price list item, that is a single product. Then using pricing method as related price plus multiple price list item association. So when we are using this method, we'll set up N to one mapping. So one product's price can be derived from multiple products. Right? So using this way, we can derive a price of the product based on the multiple price list item. That is we call related price list item. This involves defining multiple records of a custom object provided by Conga CPQ. Okay. Now let's move on to the use case. So ABC Corporation is selling electronic products. ABC Corporation wants to price two of their products as follows. If the customer purchases laptop along with its warranty, the price of warranty will be 5% of the price of laptop. So that's the very first use case. Now the second one is if the customer purchases laptop and television along with warranty, then the price of warranty will be 7% of the total price of laptop and television. Now you're getting the idea. The first one is one to one. Second one is n to one. Okay. Now let's review the configuration. So I'll move to the Conga CPQ part, I have a quote created and I'll have to do a configuration. While the configuration gets created, let me show you laptop, television, warranty, one to one, that is one to one mapping. And second one is end to one. Okay. So laptop, uh, related to laptop, we have price list item, which calls standard price, which is 500 USD. When I go to Television, I'll again go to price list item, which is 400 rupees. Now, if I go over here, right, then I see the price list item over here as well. And now let's first, let me show you how it works and then we'll go to the configuration part. So very first point we'll take laptop and one to one warranty and I'll add it to cart. So as we have seen in use case, the pricing will come over here and we'll see once the pricing is being done, this is one to one relationship. Okay. So 500, 500 is the price of laptop and 5% of 500 will become 25. Right. So that way, when we land on the card, the net price will become 25. So that is how one to one relationship of a related price will be seen on the card. And now how to configure it. So we'll go to the price list item of warranty product and I'll just edit it to show you out like how I configured it. What I have to do is I have to set the pricing method as percent. Whatever percentage that we want, I have set up 5%. Percentage applies to so whatever percentage is there, it will be applied to base price. And then we have added related price list item and this is the price list item of laptop okay so whatever price is coming for laptop it will take five percent of that and assign it to this particular product warranty one to one and that is how 
it is visible and you can see 5% is committing into base price and based on that the net price will be derived so that is how our one to one price will be calculated using related price now let's talk about n to one okay. so i'll again go to cart i'll select the products so i'll select all of them and i'll remove this one to one warranty because ideally our use case speaks about this two only now as per the use case the price of warranty n to one will be 7% of the price of laptop and television. So let me just add it to card and let me show you Let's wait for the pricing to be done and as soon as the pricing will be done we'll be able to see the price so 500 plus 400 900 and 7% of 900 will be 63 so that is how the pricing comes up and very well you can see an eye icon over here and you can see which priceless item are contributing over here we can still control this stuff but we'll take it later okay so 907 percent of that is 63 now how how do we set this up so i'll go to warranty product n to one and i'll go to the related list and let's open up the priceless item so on priceless item the price method will become related price right and uh, there is something called percentage related adjustment type will be percentage the related adjustment amount is seven percent and related adjustment applies to base price so what it will do is it will do seven percent of whatever price that we are asking for a products price we are asking for and put it into base price which is coming over here now we don't have that uh, lookup populated over here right you see related prices item is empty now where have we defined that so to define that we can go to the related list and over here we can see related price list item 2 so over here i have defined the price list item of the television and the other product which is called laptop so this is the related price list item this is the related price list item this one is for laptop and this one is for television so that's where it is doing summation of the net price of both of them and it is putting up the data now sometime it happens let's say we define that uh, seven percent on the here right but now we don't want to because we want different price to be there so for laptop we want 10 percent and for uh, television we want 20 percent price right uh, to contribute to the warranty spread so that again can be done what i'll do is i'll just remove this out and i'll save it and then what i have to do is i have to go and i have to go to the related priceless item i just click add is and over here you have to provide that right so let's say it is percentage and i'll put as 10 percent and over here what i'll put is let's say 20% okay so now what will happen is whatever is the price of let's say laptop uh, it will take 20% of it and whatever is the price of television it will take 10% of it right and then it will calculate the price and assign it to warranty so I'll just delete this and let's verify that so I'll go I'll create a product I'll select the products and let's verify the price previously it was coming at 63 and now let's verify what the price is coming up so now it's coming as as 140 how 20 percent of this that means 100 and 10 percent of this that means 40 so it comes as 140 and again that will be in base price since we have selected base price as percentage applies to and here you can see uh, the individual products how many products are contributing to this uh, so that is how related pricing can be set up using conga cpq uh, thank you very much for watching the videos uh, please like and share the content and subscribe to the channel if you haven't to get learning from this tutorials thank you very much